Atiti Devo Bhava, a Sanskrit phrase that represents India's ancient tradition of hospitality. In Poland, we have something similar. Gość w dom, Bóg w dom. It means that a guest entering your house is like God entering your house. Many words in Polish and Indian languages also sound similar. For example, Agni, which means fire, is called ogień in Polish. Wypadek, a Polish word which means accident or some other distressful situation, is similar to Vipta in Hindi. Do, which means two, is called dwa. Panch, which means five, is called pięć in Polish. Saptam in Sanskrit, which means seven, is called siedem. Ashtam, eight, is osiem, to give you a few examples. As far as recent geopolitics events are concerned, Polish politician and member of the European Parliament, Ryszard Henryk Czarnecki, said that the European Parliament should support India on the issue of terrorism in Kashmir. This is something that has been noted by the top Indian leadership. Currently, there are around 13 Indian IT companies that provide jobs to over 10,000 professionals in Poland. These Indian companies also conduct their European operations from this region. The Indian IT companies Infosys and HCL maintain a strong presence in Poland and provide outsourcing services to various firms. HCL currently has a base located in Kraków, where 1,200 workers are currently employed. Well, relations between India and Poland have always been very close and cordial. Uh, right from the time the end of Second World War, Poland was regrouping. Similarly, India was also regrouping because we, after immediately after the Second World War, we got our independence. And uh, before that, for nearly 200 years, we were under foreign rule. So both our countries had more or less similar, you know, backgrounds to rise from. <coughs> And therefore, the challenges were similar. And uh, it so happened that we in India chose to be non-aligned, which means we didn't want to join either bloc, neither the capitalists nor the communists. And uh, it was a decision of our leaders um, because they stood for certain values, democracy and um, you know, independence of choice, uh, liberty. And therefore, I think uh, because Poland had also had similar, you know, nearly 200 years of very difficult times when it was under different rules uh, <laughs> in different times. So we were, we have had close relations. And of course, from 1990 onwards, uh, when Poland became a democratic country also, so our ties became even stronger because India is seen as the largest democracy in the world. In the Central European region, Poland is considered to be India's largest trade partner and export destination. Over the last 10 years, there has been a sevenfold increase in bilateral trade. The overall value of bilateral trade in 2018 was 2.4 billion in US currency. Indian investments in Poland are valued at over 3 billion US dollars. And on the other hand, Polish companies have invested nearly 672 million US dollars in India. India is being increasingly seen as a critical engine of the global economy. Poland is among the fastest growing economies in Europe. With China being a communist country, it is not just Poland but the entire European Union which is looking at India as an emerging global power as India brings them a lot of hope and promise when it comes to balancing China. See you again.